Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Let me hop out of virtual reality uh, so I can host today's lab talk. We'll, be, we'll come back to VR in a little bit. So welcome everyone. Today is Thursday, June 1st. My name is Megan McDowell, and I'm really excited to welcome my teammate, Angela Carnwright, Senior Manager with Digital Sales Enablement here at Thermo Fisher Scientific. Uh, and she'll be sharing some tips and tricks to help you design your new lab space with our 3D lab design tool. So if you have any questions at any time for Angela, uh, feel free to use the Q&A function uh, and we'll have time at the end for some questions. And we have some really exciting and innovative info to share with you today. So uh, without further delay, I'm gonna pass it over to Angela to get our lab talk started. Awesome, thank you so much, Megan. So this is a really fun topic. Uh, but it can be a little bit overwhelming at times for people. So uh, whether you're a facilities manager, a lab manager, or a principal investigator, a new lab project or renovation can be so exciting and so um, like just groundbreaking for your research. It can also be overwhelming. So generally when you're starting your new lab project or renovation project, you're starting with a finite budget and space allocation. And so you want to build the, your scientific discovery, but you have some, some limitations. Um, but to get started, um, you can start by really thinking through what you need in your space. So um, I like to think of it as, you know, building your wish list and customizing that wish list based on applications. So if you start with, you know, what type of techniques and applications you're going to be using in the lab, it's always easier than kind of going back and kind of being like, hey, how did I... How did I do that technique and, and fill in the blanks later? Um, or even just thinking about generally what you saw in your lab that you worked in. So think of it on application technique uh, basis. And then we also have some tools and resources that can help you build your list for each technique as well. So definitely work with our team members to help access those resources, as well as some of our 3D resources that you can kind of shop through. Um, and as you refine your product list, please work with our team because we do have a uh, some help. We have specialists and we have scientists in-house that can help you refine your list and help identify products that might be new or like creating new innovative efficiencies that you didn't have access to in your previous lab. So certainly um, work with our team. We have different capacity calculators. We have different um, products that may fit a niche scientific area that you uh, that you work within. And if you're not sure uh, how to go about your building your list, we actually have a very cool, innovative virtual showroom that we can invite you into for some demos and some tours. Uh, and that's the Immersive Lab. So I'm actually gonna show you a quick clip on what the Immersive Lab is so that you can actually um, experience it for yourself and then hopefully book with us. So here's one minute video and, and check it out. So that is our lab uh, called the Immersive Lab. It's based in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And we've actually had quite a few customers come through, maybe for one product demo, they wanna see a CO2 incubator, for example, and then they'll take a tour of the space and kind of, you know, remind themselves of, hey, you know, I do need a water bath or I do need some pipettes and can you show me something different? And it, it's a really nice way of kind of shopping through the different products on your list and maybe making sure that you haven't missed anything. So do definitely uh, work with our team in booking that. Uh, we do have a link to book that. Um, but in the next st stage of the, of the game, after you've built your list, you probably have an Excel file with a whole bunch of products listed. And now you want to think about where you're gonna put them. And you want to then access, hopefully you have some type of um, schematic diagram. Perhaps you have a floor plan from from your building uh, team, 
but there is a way you can do it if you have measurements of the space. So it depends on what stage you're working from, whether it's you know, pre-construction where you're working with floor plan diagrams, or if it's post-construction, you're inheriting a space um, and you either don't have a plan and you just need to measure with an old fashioned measuring tape or a, or a laser tape, a laser measurer, um, we can actually kind of work with either scenario. Um, and then you're going to import that into the lab design tool and we can help you build that in 3D. So I'm gonna actually go to the video to walk through and I'll voice over this video as well. But essentially you're going to start with uh, building the kind of infrastructure of the lab, the walls, the doors, then you're going to add the um, the bench work, the casework, um, and some of the cabinets, maybe desks, and then you're going to add the products that you've chosen from your product list. So let's skip over to the uh, the video here, and we'll uh, have a look at how that's done. So here you can see we're drawing some walls. You've opened up the design. You're creating it from scratch. In this menu on the right, you can select some um, some cabinets. There's different types of benches and cabinets and different sizes. Um, and it's kind of nice because you can then um, position some of them in place and then create groupings within uh, the tool and, and start to kind of build out repetitive elements. So it's always great to open it up and look at it in 3D as you're building. Make sure it makes sense. And this is an example of kind of, it's like a cooking show where we've kind of take you to the next step and it's already done, right? So here's kind of the the, the lab here that we've built, uh, built for Dr. Roberts. It's a fictional lab. And um, this is, you know, how we've positioned the benches that were already where they are put and they can't be moved. So we wanted to start from that uh, spot. Um, and next we're gonna add the equipment. Uh, so this is the equipment list that we've built with your Thermo Fisher scientific um, specialists or um, account rep teams, and they can actually help you position these. And you're going to see a little halo around the products. And this is really a guideline on the um, required clearance, which is a nice feature. So you're not, you know, positioning things where you can't open doors. And this is an example of the lab where we have added all of the different elements. And then you can land yourself on the ground, have a look around. Does the space make sense? And this is all on your computer in 3D. So you can add different viewpoints to the floor and really get to visualize that space and the bench layouts. So there's a really a lot of value in how, um, how you can visualize this as, as you build. And then you can go back to your, um, your designs and make adjustments after you've viewed it in 3D. So the next piece of this is the um, really like as you, as you build in 3D, um, you can ensure that the doors are going to open. You can ensure like there's no collision happening. You can kind of look at how ventilation clearance will happen, but it'll also allow you to kind of get a sense of how this, how the work will be done in the space, which is a huge benefit if you think about change management, right? But the next thing that we've just, we're so excited to launch is the ability to visualize and tour your lab in virtual reality. So let's have a look at Megan, uh, who has her headset and she has done a recording for us of touring this lab in virtual reality. So imagine that you are a lab person and your lab manager or your building's operations person who's helping you with this project 
and said, hey, why don't we sit down and look at your bench space and let's design it. Let's look at the lab holistically and see how we can best make this work um, from day one, right? And so as we know, a lot of the equipment and instruments that are foundational in setting up the lab are quite big and heavy and bulky, and you really don't wanna be moving them around. So having this floor plan and layout in place when you're ready for accepting the equipment on site can be really helpful. Um, so in summary, the steps you would take are considering your workflows and then build your build your product list or your wish list from the workflow from with the workflows in mind. Um, review the physical space that you've been given to use um, and load that into the 3D lab design tool. You would then add your products into the tool after you know setting up the foundational elements. And then you can, you know, if you're not sure where to start, or if you feel like you maybe missed something, you know, schedule a book, book a visit with us to our immersive lab and our specialists will help walk you through um, some of the products in more detail and also give you a sneak peek at kind of how things could look in your lab. And then, you know, uh, go back to the tool, make adjustments, view it in 3D, uh, view it in AR or VR. Maybe you record yourself touring the space in augmented or virtual reality and share that with some stakeholders and really build some excitement around um, the new lab that's about to come. And then when you're ready, you can send us a list, build a report and uh, have our team help you through the procurement process. And you know we can help you make your move-in day and your unpacking day really seamless and, um, and, and, and happy. So uh, once everything's set up, you can take some after photos, share it with the team. You know, we want to help you get set up and running. And um, there's also some resources here if you want to check it out on your, on your own, or if you go to thermofisher.com slash new lab, N-E-W-L-A-B. Um, this site is a great place to find some resources for new lab startups as well.